Hey, what's up producers, Brosmanel here, and welcome back to another exciting Ableton Live 11 tutorial. Ableton and Native Instruments Machina users are going to love these EDM tips because layering kicks and mixing your kick and bass right can sometimes be tricky. You've probably spent some time tweaking the overdrive and saturator effects, EQs and compressors, and yet you're still looking for that low end power. So if you're tired of your track sounding flat and lacking that extra punch, watch this mixing tutorial. You will learn how to use the Machina distortion effect on your kicks for that perfect touch of grit and character that will bring out the beat in your electronic music productions. Let's have a listen at that mix with and without the Machina distortion effect. <laughs> It's a game changer. You can hear it does an insane job on the low end and the Fat Filter Pro Altimeter tells me my audio is not louder, it's still peaking at 0 dB. Now let's break down the process. Add the distortion effect to the main kick and apply these settings. Mode, analog, saturation 42%, bass 90%, tone 50 definition 94%, and mix 55%. Now the top kick. Mode, analog, saturation, 62%, bass, 0%, tone, 100, definition, 94%, and mix, 75%. And the sub, mode, Mulholland, drive, 25%, color, 25% as well, feedback, 0%, tone, 75%, and mix, 50%. But before using the Machina distortion effect, you need to add the overdrive and saturator to your kicks and watch this video now to learn how to process your kicks and sub bass. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy producing.